okay looking at this unit not cooling walking cooler not cooling got here and we just heard it fire up and then cut out fairly quickly afterwards liquid lines liquid line <coughs> it's red hot so it's on I can't feel any airflow I can feel heat coming out of the condenser she's gonna trip I can feel a lot of heat coming out of the top of the condenser It's a classic for failed condenser fan there, which would be the second one of these this week on one of these units. Uh, I'd like to point out these have four screws, one down, two down the bottom, two at the top. And if you don't take the top ones out, the cover won't come off. There's a sneak peek of the new van. I'll do a tour when I've got it set up a bit more. Right, now we've got to try and lift this cover off and not fall off the ladder. Okay, let the dog see the rabbit as it were. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Might be a 25 watt motor. Um, yeah, so it's just four 7mm headed bolts to get the guard off and the motor. Oh, the blade's fell off. The blade has fallen off. That's the problem. The plates are off. Look at that. Mm, I wonder if the motor still works. No, no. Motor's gone. Motor's gone. Seized up and the blades fell off. Mm. I bet that's cooked. Because without any... It might go off on a thermal. It might... How hot is that? Bit of spit. And it's fairly... Well, it's hot, but it's not boiling. Um, they, some of them have a thermal overload in, so if the motor gets too hot, it turns itself off. I think we'll take it off and have a look. Uh, yes, I think that's the plan. But it's not new, is it? I don't know if we've got a date on this unit somewhere. I'll tell you, receivers are a good place for finding a date. Uh, 19, I think, 47, 19. It's a five year old. Yeah, you can see the sharp bearings are gone. Bearings. Okay, that's the only one I've got on the van similar. That's a 24 watt, and I think this is a 20. Shaft protrusion's the same. Now the stack height, which is how thick, how thick this bit is, is the same. I'm going to look it up on a chart and see if that is within the acceptable range of what this motor can do, because we've got a 300mm blade, I don't know if that's a 23 degree pitch, 323, I'm not sure, might say on it somewhere else, I'll have a look. It's not very, it's not very, very sharp. Um, Pitch. And I think you can, you, if it's a shallow pitch, I think you can even run that size blade with an 18 watt motor. But anyway, it's this or nothing. That's all we've got, and it's a weekend. Okay, got a new motor in there. D do these bolts up if they're loose, because um, they just rattle. Um, I mean, you don't do the arm, but it just makes a bit of a noise. Um, or if you really wanted to, you could, you could split the motor and drop them out if you didn't want them in there. Just take the bolts out, split it, take these out. Uh, but just, yeah, if you nip the nuts up on the bolts, they don't rattle away. Uh, we've just crimped that because the cable's not too, not long enough on these Italian motors. They put really short flex on them. But they do put decent bearings in them, so I like them. So we'll, we'll just put some tape around that. Probably tape it um, tight up out of the way, so if they get any water in the bottom, it won't get in the connections. Okay, moment of truth. Would you worry when you're messing around with electrics whether you've tripped the um, RCD or something? 
you never know whether they've switched the neutral in there so when you capture the flex it will short the earth and the neutral together and if, they, if they've got an RCD and they haven't switched the neutral they'll not chip out but of course we should test things before we go cutting them shouldn't we John? we should do Right, well hopefully that'll get them cooling again. Right, it's down to eight. I don't know what it was on when I turned it on because I didn't come in and check. Just, just, it was instantly obvious the problem with the outside. So, uh, anyway. And they've got a problem with the door, here aren't they? Oh yeah. So, something's not right. So we'll have a look at that. Right, took the cover off, just two screws, cover comes off. There's our strike or whatever you want to call it. And that's our little roller. And if you, that pops over there, you can see there's a good quarter of an inch gap before that goes to there. So we want to loosen that nut, which looks like eight millimeters or five sixteenths, and slide the little perisher in. Okay, nearly got it on the first go. Moved it in. And it was just a little tiny bit loose, so we've moved it in one more, one more groove over. And when that releases, you can see it's got a bit of tension on it, but you can slam it. Shuts okay, so it's not too tight. And these are serrated, so it, you know it's positively locked there. Let's just nip the bolt up. So we just nip that up a little bit more, put the cover back on. That's that done. Oh, that's down to six. And it went up to 11 when we had the door open while we was setting the catch up again. So I think we're going to, I'm not going to sit here till it gets down to temperature because all the stock's warmed up in there. But I'm, I'm happy that's working. 